to 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 investigate uh, which factor actually uh, lead to the higher biogas production. Then we found that actually uh, free ammonia pretreatment can enhance both hydrolysis rate and biochemical mixing potential. So that indicates free ammonia pretreatment actually uh, can enhance uh, both hydrolysis rate and biochemical mixing potential. So this enhanced two parameter actually contribute to the enhanced uh, biogas production. Uh, so this is a uh, uh, batch test. Uh, so after batch test, we also in the lab did the uh, continuous uh, continuous test. Continuous test in the lab, we set up two reactors. Uh, one is uh, one reactor as a control, another reactor as a experimental reactor. So the only difference between the two reactors is that um, in the control reactor, every day we feed the raw waste sludge into the into the anaerobic digester. But in the experimental reactor, actually we feed the free ammonia pretreated sludge into the reactor. Then we measured some the performance is of these two reactor. Uh, for instance, in these two graphs, the left graph indicates the volatile solid destruction results. Uh, the right graph indicates the missing production results. Uh, so the phase one indicates this reactor actually were operated under the same conditions. Uh, from these two graphs, we can see under the in phase one, that is when this, this reactor were operated under the same conditions, actually they achieved a similar performance. Uh, in phase two, when we uh, introduce the free ammonia uh, pretreatment technology, we can see that we achieve higher uh, water solid uh, reduction results and also higher missing production results. So that uh, further indicates actually this technology is effective in enhancing uh, biogas production from the uh, slab. And also we, uh, for this one, we also combine the, the anaerobic digestion model and also a big slab model to evaluate the slab degradability potential and also hydrolysis rate to try to in, uh, investigate which factor actually contribute to the enhanced biogas production. Then the experimental the model results indicates actually the enhanced uh, degradability potential actually contribute to the enhanced biogas production. And we also measure the dewaterability of the, uh, the digestive sludge with and without this uh, pretreatment method. The left graph indicates the solid content. The right graph indicates the zeta potential. Uh, from this graph, we can see actually uh, free ammonia pretreatment also can enhance the uh, dewaterability of the, uh, the digestive sludge. Uh, this also confirmed by the uh, zeta potential results. Uh, so this, uh, so this, uh, for this one, uh, the conclusion is that actually we found that free ammonia technology actually can enhance volatile solid destruction, can enhance energy recovery, can enhance sludge dewaterability, and also pathogen removal. Uh, for this one, uh, the chemical we use is free ammonia because uh, uh, free ammonia actually can comes from the anaerobic digestive liquor of the the wastewater treatment plant because anaerobic digestion liquor actually contains a high concentration of uh, free ammonia. Uh, so this so, so this method actually is a um, closed loop method because we can get this chemical on site. So this is about the uh, using free ammonia to pretreat to pretreat the slag to enhance biogas production. Uh, and also uh, initially we mentioned that uh, in the wastewater treatment plant we can uh, if we can selectively remove nitrate oxidizing bacteria, then we can uh, then we can we can see the carbon requirement for nitrate removal. So in that case, we can use that extra carbon to to enhance biogas production. So in the lab, we try to evaluate whether this method can uh, selectively remove nitrate oxidizing bacteria. Uh, so in the lab, we set up two reactors. Uh, one reactor is a control reactor. Another reactor. It's an experimental reactor. The only difference between these two reactors is that in the experimental reactor, we introduce a free ammonia uh, treatment unit. So every day, we, we, in this unit, we treat, we use free ammonia to treat part of the slab from the, the reactor and then return the uh, treated slab back to the reactor. And then uh, we try to evaluate the performance. Uh, 
So this is an experimental results. So the axis indicates the, the time, the y-axis indicates the nitride accumulation ratio. Nitride accumulation ratio uh, means the effluent nitride divided by the uh, effluent nitride plus nitrate. Uh, so the higher nitride accumulation ratio means the means uh, the the more uh, nitride oxidizing bacteria has already been washed out. And also, uh, so this is also uh, um, some experimental results in one cycle of the reactor. So from this uh, graph, we can see the left uh, the left graph. Uh, the left graph is a control reactor. From the left graph, we can see in the left graph actually the during at the end of the aerobic period, we only have nitrate uh, in the in the effluent, but we do not have nitrite. That means that we do not have the. Uh, that means that we have nitrite oxidizing bacteria in the reactor. But in uh, in the right graph. Uh, after we introduce the free ammonia treatment, we can see uh, we have a higher nitrite concentration in the effluent. Uh, that means that uh, majority of the ni nitrite oxidizing bacteria has already been washed out. Uh, so this is also the long-term experimental results uh, that indicates that uh, majority of the uh, indicates that in the effluent we have. Uh, uh, the, the nitrite, uh, the nitrite is much higher than nitrate, so that indicates the nitrate oxidizing bacteria has already been washed out. So, so that means that uh, if we use if we use this free ammonia uh, technology, we can also selectively remove the nitrate oxidizing bacteria from the reactor. Um, then in that case, we can um, uh, we can uh, get more carbon source uh, to add to the anaerobic digester to enhance biogas production. Uh, so for this one, we also did some uh, energy analysis. We found that if we use this technology, um, uh, we can convert, we can potentially convert the whisper stream plant from the uh, uh, energy consuming plant into an energy producing plant. Uh, yeah, thank you. This is all my presentation. So we have some time for one to two questions. Yeah. Yeah. I have one question. Um, yeah, Mike is coming. Uh, okay. So uh, we know that actually free ammonia is also uh, toxic for like thermogenesis. So if we uh, apply the uh, FA free treatment, um, you intend to increase the ammonia concentration or you will address the um, adjust the pH. pH. Yeah. yeah. Actually in the pre-treatment stage actually we'll adjust the pH of the the we we'll adjust the pH. And then after that we we add this uh, uh, free ammonia uh, treated sludge into the into the anaerobic digester. So initially we found some inhibition uh, but then when we run that reactor uh, for a few days then we found that it seems it adapted to this uh, environment, then we found that the inhibition actually um, not, not that serious. Yeah, not, not that one. And then not uh, not very big. And then and also um, from the experimental results we also observe actually enhanced the uh, biogas production and also enhanced the uh, water quite solid uh, destruction. Okay, thank you. Thanks you. I'm just saying uh, because you have the uh, FA concentration up to 680. Could you try even higher? I mean, definitely there's more inhibitions. But uh, because it seems like your K value is still going up and not, not stopping at this bad point yet. Could you try even higher the FA concentrations? Uh, actually, we haven't tried uh, uh, the higher uh, FA concentrations. The reason why we select this concentration is that uh, we, we, we need to make sure that uh, this uh, some uh, we can get this free ammonia concentration from the anaerobic digester later. Uh, if the free ammonia concentration is too high, then generally speaking, we cannot get the, that that uh, high free ammonia concentration. In that case, we will lose the technology. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, should all appreciation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.